好第十四条啦，就讲返阿六同阿七嘅呢个家庭啦，佢哋全部嘅后代呢都系正常嘅小朋友嚟嘅，咁我就问你点解？喎？係因为佢哋每个人都接收咗啲乜嘢啊？根据第十三条嘅概念呢。正常嘅等位基因係顯性，有病嘅等位基因係隱性。根據呢個分析咧，六號女嘅基因型咧就係細 A 細 A 純合隱性，而七號就呢個老公咧，佢係正常人啊嘛，咁即係話起碼有一個正常嘅阿 Leo， 佢可以係純合嘅顯性，又或者係集合型都得嘅。咁而家啦。九十、十一、十二全部都係正常人嘅話呢即係話佢哋起碼係接收咗一個正常嘅等位基因，由佢嘅父母親嗰度嚟。咁但係問題份父母親邊個先？阿六定係阿七先？而我哋發現啦，其實得阿老豆係有正常嘅等位基因嘅啫嘛，所以答案呢就一定係 A 啦。所以 B 呢就已經錯咗啦，因為邊有可能由 each parent 啫？佢哋嘅阿媽呢係世界世界 A 嚟嘅，跟住啦，由老豆傳過嚟嘅有病嘅基因都錯啦，因為如果連老豆都俾個世界 A 佢嘅話呢，但阿媽係從來唔會有大家 A 㗎嘛，所以啊都係解釋唔到點解佢哋全部人都係正常嘅。而 D 呢，你話啦，由阿媽接收到一個有病嘅基因。錯咩兩常？佢一定係俾個世界 A 嘅喎，係呢、这個係啱，但係攞咗個世界 A 啫。你點樣解釋佢哋都係正常先？世界 A 係一個有病嘅基因嚟嘅喎，係咪 ？Question fourteen refer to the family of individual six and seven. Their offspring are all normal because each of them receive A B C D. Based on the autosum analysis of question thirteen, normal allele is dominant allele. A fetal allele is the recessive allele. That's why we know that individual six, she must be the homozygous recessive, small small a. And for the individual seven, the father, he can either be homozygous dominant, big a big a, or heterozygous, big a small a. So for the individuals nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, they are all normal. So that means they must receive one normal allele from the parent. But the point is that which parent can give them the normal allele? And from the possible genotypes of individual six and seven, only individual seven, the father, he has the normal allele. That's why the answer must be A. Each of them receive a normal allele from the father. But what about B, C, D? Option B. Normal allele from each parent. That's wrong concept because for the individual six, she must be small, small a, right? How can she give the offspring a big a? She cannot. And for option C, the fetal allele from the father. It could be possible. However, it cannot help us to explain why all of them they are the normal individuals. Option D. This option is correct itself. All the individual they must receive the small a from the individual sex. However, but it cannot help us to explain why all of the offspring they are normal as well. That's why they are also wrong.